Hey guys, what's going on? My name is Tom Ogami, and today we are back with another video. Today we are doing some content from Minecraft Story Mode. So if you haven't been tuned on YouTube recently, pretty much every gaming YouTuber um, has been doing Minecraft Story Mode, and the character you probably see in most of the thumbnails or on the box art itself is a character called Jesse. So that's who we are building today. If you guys do enjoy, definitely consider leaving a like. We are working on the other characters, so they will be coming out in the very near future, and uh, hopefully you guys do enjoy, because a lot of effort has gone into these. Um, but yeah, that's about it, hopefully again, you enjoy, if you do, don't forget to smack the like button, and uh, show some support, it's very much appreciated, subscribe if you haven't already, um, for some Minecraft tutorials, but apart from that, I'll see you in the video. Alrighty guys, so we're going to start off this video by first listing off the blocks you'll need to build the statue, and then we'll get straight on into actually building it. Okay, so you'll need the following, you'll need quite a lot of materials, blue stained clay, light blue stained clay, blue wool, cyan wool, light blue wool, stone, white stained clay, snow, as in the snow block, not the snow slabs, white wool, oak wood logs, spruce wood logs, brown stained clay, green stained clay, quartz block, light grey stained clay, yellow wool, red wool, and also oak and spruce planks. So, if you want to pause here, get them blocks into your inventory, that will be great. I'm just using the map to count because I cannot be bothered, um, because I am lazy. Um, but yeah, anyways, this is the first version of Jesse, before anyone asks. It's, again, the one you normally see on the cover art of the box, and uh, it's the most famous, I guess, character um, design for Jesse. But as far as I'm aware, there is actually six designs, so if you are interested in that, Definitely let us know down in the comments. Again, we have been working on them, um, but it's whether you guys actually want to see them. Okay, so let's not waste any more time. Moving on, we're going to place eight of the blue stained clay, which I personally think looks like purple, um, in a row like so. The next row is one blue, two light blue, two blue, two light blue, and one blue. So essentially what we're doing here is building the feet. Right now, it should be 8 wide and 2 tall, as you can see, and each layer at this point in time is 8 wide. I'll point out later on when each uh, layer is wider, but that won't be for a while, so don't you guys worry. Okay, so on top of this, what we're going to do is place 8 blue wool, so that's the third layer. And then what we do is we come to the left side, and we build up 8 using light blue wool. So that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. The second one row is also 8 light blue and then the third row is 9 cyan okay so it should be looking like this we're going to mirror that on the other side so we leave these two blocks in the middle here and then we build a 9 cyan and then two rows of 8 light blue and again the two rows in the middle should be empty right now and we'll fill them in in a second okay so just to recap we've got a Three tall, eight wide section at the bottom. We've got eight rows of light blue, nine rows of cyan, nine rows of cyan, and eight rows of light blue. Okay, so for this middle section, the two wide section, we're going to do ten rows of blue. Like so. So as you can see, it kind of like gradually goes up in the middle and then down on the other side. So it goes eight, nine, ten, ten, nine, eight. Okay. So... Next to this cyan here, on the left of it, and on top of it, we place one blue. Same on this side, on top of it, and to the right of it, we place one blue wall. On the left side, we go up diagonal to the left, and on the right side, we go up diagonal to the right. In these gaps underneath each side, we place one cyan, and then these gaps here, we place one stone. And once you have done that, you'll have an area, which is looking like this. It will be 13 blocks tall and 8 blocks wide, and I'll prove that to you now, as you can see the floor is Y5, come up to here, it's Y18. So that is 13 blocks tall, and 8 blocks wide. Now you may be asking, if you are a uh, follower of this channel, you'll know that the legs are normally 12 by 8, and that is true, this is because we do one layer of the body um, extra, because it makes more sense too, because the uh, actual design itself kind of uses the uh, first layer of the body as almost like a belt layer, if that uh, makes any sense to you guys. 
Hopefully it does. So the actual body itself is only actually 11 blocks tall, and the uh, legs will be 13. So it kind of counters it. It's still 24, but counters it a bit. Um, and if you have actually seen the game characters in-game, they are not to standard skin dimensions, which is why this was slightly tricky. Um, we had to put some time and thought into it, but I think it came out pretty nice, and if you agree, let me know down in the comments section. Okay, so moving on, what we're going to do is next this blue here, we're going to go 1, 2, 3, 4 to the left using the white stained clay. We're going to do the exact same on the right side, go 1, 2, 3, 4 to the right using the white stained clay. This just marks out where the hands are going to go, and we'll come back to that later on. But for now, what we're going to do is worry about the shirt, or the uh, body in this case. So what we do is we get our white wall. On top of this blue here, we build up 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Right now, it should be Y29, or 24 blocks above the floor level. So as you can see, floor is Y5, the top is 29, that is 24 blocks. You have done it correctly. Again, if you're on PC, it will be different, and same with mobile devices, so don't go off the basis it should be 29. Just add 24 onto the ground level. And you do that exact same on the right side as well. You just build up 11 on top of that blue wall with white wall. Next, what we're going to do is next to the white wall on either side, so we're going to place 11 red wall. So, on top of this stone, 11 red wall. On top of this stone, 11 red wall. Okay, so they kind of represent like the braces, I think is the uh, technical term for them that the character wears. Hopefully you get the uh, gist of what I mean by that. Um, like the straps that go over his shirt that connect to his trousers. Okay, so for the next part, what we're going to do is we're going to go to the top. We're going to connect these two red using four white stained clay. And underneath that, we're going to place, if I get the block into my inventory, there you go, one quartz, two white, and one quartz. So that's underneath the original layer, which is four white stained clay. Okay, so underneath these two white stained clay here, we're going to place two quartz, and we're going to start working our way down. So what we need is the yellow wall for this and the quartz. What we do is underneath this quartz on the right, we place one yellow, one quartz, one yellow, and then five quartz. And it will link back to the bottom like so. And once you've done that, it looks like this. Again, once you've done that, that is pretty much all the details you need to do. And we can fill the remaining gap in with white wall, as I will do for you now. And uh, then I'll give you guys an opportunity to pause, because I imagine some of you probably need it right now. Okay, so as you can see, that's what it looks like. The main body itself is 8 blocks wide, 24 blocks tall, and looks like this. This whole section here, this is the 13th row. Technically the first row of the body. It might confuse a few of you because it looks like the legs. It is, in fact, the first row of the body. So uh, don't get confused about that. If you are counting that row as the legs, so the legs are 13 tall, the body is 11 tall. But if you're counting that as the body, it's 12 and 12. So hopefully you guys get that. Okay, so next what we're going to do is move on to the arms. So for the arms, what you'll need is white stained clay, light grey, stained clay, snow blocks, and white wool. So let me get them onto my hot bar. That'd be great. There we go. We're going to start working on the left arm. So as you can see, we got this four row of uh, white stained clay. The second row from left to right goes two white stained clay, one light grey, one white. The third row goes four white stained clay, and that's his hands. So this one here represents like the gap in between his fist when it's like clenched up. Um, again, hopefully you get what I mean by that. You'll, if you see pictures of him, you'll know what I mean. That was an awful voice break. Apologies for that. On top of this, what we're going to do is place four snow. And on the far right block, we're going to go up nine. Like so. And essentially what that does is just separates the arms and the body and gives it a nice bit of texture which I personally like. And for this section here, all we're going to do is build up eight on each row with white wool. Okay, so the good news about this, um, if I can get my words out properly, the left arm is the exact same as the right arm, just mirrored. So if you want to, pause, mirror it on the other side. If not, I'm going to go for it nevertheless. So don't you guys worry. Okay, so on the basis you paused and you've caught up, we're going to move on to the right arm. So for the right arm, again, we're going to work from left to right. So the first row is four white stained clay. Second row is one white, one light grey, two white. And then the third row is four white. On top of that, we're going to do four snow. 
And on the left side, we're going to build up right to the top, which in this case is 9, using the snow block. Again, that just separates the arms and the body. And again, for this section here, we just build up 8 using white wool all the way across. And once you've done that, you have got the front of your statue complete, and it should be looking like this. So hopefully you're starting to get a vibe of what it looks like and uh, how it's going to come together. But if you aren't, I'm going to uh, let you guys pause. So this is the legs um, from that cyan at the top left to the blue stained clay at the bottom right is 12 by 8. Moving up, that bottom left blue to the top right white is 12 by 8. And then each arm is 12 by 4. Again, it's up to you to pause whenever you feel is necessary. If you don't feel you need to pause and you're keeping up quite well, then good job. Again, there's no shame in pausing. That's what these videos are for. Uh, me explain, you pause. It's a simple concept. Okay, so what we're going to do now is going to start working on making this statue 3D. Right now it's a pixel art and uh, it's very flat. We don't want that. We want it to be 3D and a skin statue. So that's what we're going to work on now. So we're going to come to the sides here. On the left side we're going to start with. Next is blue stained clay here. We're going to extend it backwards three and then up one on the far end. In this two block app here we place two light blue stained clay and on top of that three blue wall. Now each row on this side is four wide but of course we've already placed one block so the rows that we're building is only three blocks. So we build up three rows of eight. So that's three rows of eight. So it's eight, eight, eight. And then on top of that we place three cyan like so and once you've done that that is a 12 by 4 again it's two layers of blue and light blue a layer of blue wool eight layers of light blue and a layer of cyan and if you've done it correctly it will match up with the sides anyway so that's a pretty good sign that you've done it correctly um it's just a bit of reassurance as well okay so the other side is the exact same coming around to the right side we extend it backwards one two three and up one at the end in the two block gap it's two light blue then we get our blue wall, place three blue wall on top of that, eight rows of light blue all the way across, and on top of that, three cyan. And again, it's the exact same as the right side, or as the left side, should I say, the right side is the exact same as the left side, there we go. So uh, again, 12 by 4, if you want to pause, you're more than welcome to do so, if not, we shall continue. Okay, so for the sides of the arms, what we're going to do is we're going to come to this white stained clay here, we're going to come around the back of it, so it should be looking like this, and we're going to extend it backwards, one, two, three, all the way across, like so. And that gives us a little base platform, if you come below you'll see it's a 4x4 four four square. Coming to the side of this, so you can come to the front, come to the left side, and look side on, not from the back, from the side, this is what we're doing. So we do three rows of white stained clay, the first row is already done, Second row we place three, third row we place three, like so. The next row is free snow. And then the next eight rows is white wool. And again, that is a 12 by 4 rectangle, which consists of three rows of four white stained clay, one row of four snow, and eight rows of four white wool. And again, just make our lives even more easier, the other side is the exact same. So we extend it backwards, one, two, three, all the way across using the white stained clay. Three layers of white stained clay at the sides. Three snow, and then up eight each way using the white wall. And that is it. That is the sides of the statue complete. So we're starting to uh, see it come together a bit more. So this is what it looks like from the right side so far. And this is what it looks like from the left. Again, 24 blocks tall, 16 wide, 8 wide. If you are not including the arms, I don't know why you wouldn't include the arms, um, to be perfectly honest. But you never know. So, uh, yeah, moving on, what we're going to do is start actually completing the body. So, as you can see, we've got this big gaping gap in the uh, middle of the back of the statue, should I say. Um, and we're going to fill that in now. So, that's going to be our priority for a bit. So we're going to start at the back of the legs right here and we're going to fill this gap in here. It's a six wide gap. We're going to fill it in with two layers of blue stained clay, a layer of blue wool, and then we're going to follow the same pattern as we did on the front. So we've already got this first row here of light blue. That will be eight tall. The second row is eight tall of blue. The third row is nine tall of cyan. The fourth row is ten tall of blue. Fifth row, 10 tall of blue. 
Sick Throw, Nine Tool of Cyan, and the final row that we're going to be building is Eight Tool of Light Blue. And again, it comes out looking like this. It's the exact same as the front. Again, like we did at the front, next to the left and to the right of this blue, we place one blue. We go down diagonal each side and then up diagonal on top of this cyan. And there's one gap either side. We place one stone. If I can grab that into my inventory, like so. And that is the legs and the first layer of the body complete. Again, feel free to pause. That is 13 tall, 8 wide. So, for the next part, again, very, very similar to the front. What we're going to do is get white wool, red wool. On top of this blue wool here, we're going to build up 11 using the white wool. We can link that together like so. It should be at the same height. On this side, on top of the blue wool, we go up 11. Link it together. should be the same height as the front. And we start working our way in. So, on top of this stone, we place 11 red wool. Again, you can link it up if you want to. should be the same height. And on top of this stone, again, 11 red wool. Link it together. Right here in the middle, there should be a four block gap. What we're going to do on the bottom row is we're going to place four snow. On top of that, we're going to place 10 white wool on the left side, 10 white wool on the right side. And in the middle two blocks, we're going to place two rows of 10 snow. So it gives us like a little stripe of uh, snow going through the middle, which gives it a bit of variety and a bit more texture, which makes it look a lot nicer in my opinion. Uh, but yeah, that's generally what it looks like from that bottom left blue wall to that top right white wall is 12 by 8. Okay, so the final part of this is the back of the arms. Again, very, very simple, so shouldn't take too long at all. We need our white stained clay and our light grey stained clay again. And we're going to start on the back of the right arm, or in this case, the left arm. So starting from left to right, the bottom row is four white stained clay. The second row is two white, we've already placed one, one light grey, one white, and then the final row is three white. And again, it gives you this like little grippy um, like shade to it, like he's gripping his fist, clutching his fist, um, which is what he's doing in the screenshots, because it's all renders. The next row is three snow, and then on top of this, we're going to build up eight using the snow on top of that existing snow there and it will take you to the top like so. We're then going to link them together and then in this area here, the two block uh, wide gap, we're going to build up eight using the white wall and again join that to the front like so. And again, the right side is the exact same so we're just going to mirror this. For the right side, again working from left to right, the first row is complete, it's just four white stained clay. Second row is one white, one light grey, one white. And then the third row is three white. The fourth row is three snow. And then on the left side, we're going to build up eight using the snow and link it to the front. In these two block gaps here, we're going to build up eight using white wall. And then again, link it to the front. And once you have done that, you have built the body. You've got a nice 3D skin statue body going on. And it means we can move on to the head. But before we do that, I will give you guys an opportunity to pause because I know some of you might be falling just a tiny bit behind. So uh, hopefully you guys use this opportunity to catch up if you need to do so. And uh, yeah, this is the front, 12 by 8. The body, 12 by 8, and each arm being 12 by 4. Coming around to the left side, we got the side of the leg, 12 by 4. Side of the arm, 12 by 4. Coming around to the right side, got the right side of the leg, 12 by 4. The right side of the arm, 12 by 4. And then the final side, the back. The back of the legs, 12 by 8. The back of the body, 12 by 8. And the back of each arm being 12 by 4. Alrighty, so hopefully you've paused if you need to. And uh, now we can move on to the head. Okay, so the head is not easy to say the least. There is a lot of detail and this took me a lot of time to do. Um, so hopefully you do like it because... Again, it took a hell of a long time, um, and it's pretty complicated, to say the least. I don't want to scare you guys, um, but it's, it's complicated. So, let's do this at a slower pace, and uh, let's take our time, relax, and uh, let's build Mr. Jesse's head. Okay, so, 
We're going to go to the front side again. You can identify which side is front because we've got these two yellow buttons. We come to the left side of the front and count one, two, three, four, five blocks over. And on top of this white wall right here, you'll place one white stained clay and bring it two forwards. You do the exact same on the right side. So you go all the way to the right, count five. You'll find this white wall is the fifth block. Place a white stained clay, bring it two forwards. And then we're going to link these together. There should be a six block gap in between. And once you've done that, it will give you an eight by two platform overhanging the front of the body. Okay. So then what we're going to do is come to the side here, extend it backwards five, so it overhangs the back, two blocks, same on this side, and then link them together like so. Now we will be punching out some of these white stained clay in a minute, uh, but this is just to give you the general vibe of the head. It's an 8x8 eight eight square, and the head in general is an 8x8x8 eight 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 cube. Um, in this case there is some 3D detail, but I'll show you that when we're doing it. Okay, so for the front of the statue... The first row is simply 8 white stained clay, we've done that, that's out the way. The second row starting from left to right is 3 white stained clay, 3 quartz and 2 white stained clay. The third row is 8 white stained clay. The fourth row is 1 white, 1 quartz, then we need our green stained clay, 1 green, 2 white, 1 green, one quartz, one white. Now I use quartz as his teeth and also as his eyes because it's like a shinier effect. It's a cleaner, crisper effect than the uh, snow and the white wall. So hopefully you guys like that. The next row is one white, two brown stained clay, two white, two brown, and one white. Next row is eight white. And then the next row is, or the next two rows, should I say, is uh, eight spruce logs. So make sure these logs are upright, not sideways or not facing towards us. Like if I can show an example, let me let me please. There we go, like that. You don't want it like that. You want it upright, like so. Now you might be sitting there thinking this looks nothing like him, and that is very true. One, he's missing a nose. Two, he's missing his hairline. So we're going to fix the nose first. Right above this mouth here, in the two center blocks on the left one and the right one, we're going to place two light grey stained clay in the middle like so, make sure it's 3D and that gives you the nose. Now the reason why the mouth is off centred and I'll show you right now why, is because if you put a white stained clay right there, it looks like he's a rabbit, it looks like he's got two front teeth, I don't like that, he's almost got like a quirky like cheeky smile to him, so we've made it one to the side and it makes it look hell of a lot better, so I definitely suggest doing it. Okay, so for his hairline, this part is all 3D, so follow closely. We start off right here on the left side, just the block above his eyebrow. So this last row of white stained clay here, what we're going to do is we're going to place one spruce uh, log, make sure it's upright, and next to that one oak log. On top of that, on the next row we go one oak log, one spruce plank, one spruce log, one spruce plank, spruce log, and spruce plank. Okay, and then the next row, the first block is empty, the second block is one spruce log, one oak log, one spruce log, and one oak log. And once you've done that, it gives you his hairline, it gives you like a little puffy effect here, um, and I think it gives it a nice vibe and uh, makes it look pretty detailed. And uh, I guess this gives you a bit of a feeling of where the hair is going to be. It's very, very detailed and took me a really long time. Um, but I think it comes out pretty decent in the end. Alrighty, so if you want to pause, again, the head is 8x8, eight 8 eight tall, 8 wide. It looks like this. The hair and the um, nose are 3D, so they stick out one block facing towards the back. And this hair part here is not 3D. Um, it's just this extension here. But hopefully you understand that just by looking at it. Okay, so we're going to move around to the left side of the head and start working on that because, again, it's pretty complicated. So we're going to start on the left side, work our way upwards, and then row by row. So we're going to start on the far left row, go up, second row up, third row up. So I'll show you what I mean. So on the left, we've got this white stained clay here. We're going to punch that out, go below, and replace it with a one spruce log. Now the reason why I have to go below is because if you... Don't go below, you go like that. You physically can't place a upright log. We want an upright log, not a sideways log. Sideways log is not good. Upright log. Okay. 
On top of that, we're going to place one more spruce. And on top of that, we're going to place four oak logs. Then, on top of that, we place two spruce. And once you've done that, it is eight blocks tall. Now, for the side of the head again, it's eight by eight. So each row is eight. That's the first row out of eight. So the second row is one oak log. We're going to punch that one out, replace it with an oak log. On top of that, we place two spruce planks. On top of that, one oak plank, two spruce planks, and then two oak logs. The next row, punch the first block out, place two spruce. On top of that, four oak. On top of that, two spruce. Fourth row, the first row is actually the white stained clay still. On top of that, we place two oak. On top of that, two oak planks. On top of that, one spruce, one oak plank, and then one oak log. This is what it looked like so far. Next row is the one white stained clay. Then we got one oak log. On top of that, two white stained clay. On top of that, we have one oak plank, one spruce plank, one oak plank, and one oak log. As you can see, there's two rows left. So the next row is one white stained clay, two white stained clay, three white stained clay, four white stained clay. And then we go two oak logs, two spruce logs. And then the final row, we go two white stained clay, so the first one and the second one. Then we go spruce log, oak log, two spruce planks, one oak log, and one spruce plank and once you have done that that is it it is an 8 by 8 square as you can see ignore that part there don't include that in the actual side of the head um, and yeah that's what it looks like so if you want to pause I definitely suggest you do because it is pretty difficult um, and catch up that'd be great and as you can see I put a lot of time into that and I think it came out pretty nice there's a lot of texture in there and it looks really really super detailed which looks really awesome Okay, so good news, the right side is the exact same. That may be good news, that may be bad news, it depends what you prefer. Um, but I think similarity is always good, it makes it easier. So we're just going to replicate that on the other side. So let's uh, fly over here. We're going to start working on this from the other side. So again, we're going to work left to right, so it's slightly different this time. What we're going to do on the first row is on top of here, we're going to place one white stained clay. On top of that, we place one spruce. On top of that, one oak. On top of that, we place two spruce planks, and then one oak log, one spruce plank. The next row, we place three white stained clay on top of the existing one, so it's four white stained clay, two oak planks, and then two spruce, uh, two oak logs, sorry, my bad, and then two spruce logs. The next row is one white stained clay, as we've already got here. One oak log, two white stained clay, one oak plank, one spruce plank, oak plank, oak log. Next row goes one white stained clay, already there, two oak logs, two oak planks, one spruce plank, one oak plank, one oak log. The next row, we're going to punch the first block out and replace it with spruce log. On top of that, one more spruce log, and on top of that, four spruce, uh, four oak oak logs final two blocks on this row is two spruce logs like that and then for the final two rows first row is punch it out replace it with an oak log on top of that two spruce planks one oak plank two spruce planks two oak logs and the final row replace the first block with a spruce log on top of that, one more spruce log. On top of that, four oak logs. And then two spruce logs. And again, it's the exact same as the other side. Um, but if you want to, feel free to pause. You are more than welcome to do so. Okay, so final side, um, or at least for the sides of the heads, and we've got the top, is the back side of the head. So what we're going to start off by doing is punching out this row here. That is not going to be white stained clay. This row here is... But the row we just punched out isn't. What we're going to do is just build like a little row underneath of like scaffolding. I guess you could call it. Um, just so we can start placing the logs upright. So the first row goes two spruce logs. 
two oak logs, two spruce. We can punch that scaffolding out now. That's done. Then we're going to do the row by row technique again. So working from left to right, we've already got this row here, which consists of two spruce logs, four oak logs, two spruce logs. Next row goes one spruce log, one oak log, one spruce plank, one oak plank, two spruce plank, one uh, oak log, and one spruce log. We replicate this on the other side, so on the right side, we do one spruce log, one oak log, one spruce plank, one oak plank, two spruce planks, one oak log, and one spruce log. So hopefully you can see at the back it's mirrored. So the next row goes two spruce logs, five oak logs, one spruce plank. Again on this side goes one spruce log, five oak logs, and one spruce plank. The middle two rows. First row is oak log, second row is also oak log, the third row is spruce planks, the fourth and fifth row are oak planks, the sixth row is spruce planks, the seventh row and eighth row is oak log. Once you've done that it will look like this and that is the back of the head complete. If you want to pause feel free to do so um, and then we're going to move on to the top of the head before I lose my voice because oh my god my voice is hurting right now. Okay, so for the top of the head, what we're going to start off by doing is actually cleaning up the sides. So as you can see here, we got lots of like upright um, log textures. And what we're going to do is try and clean up as many of them as possible. So in cases like this, we can't actually do sideways ones because it will look weird at the side here. Neither can we do it there. But what we can do is for blocks like here, we can just clean it up and make it sideways as many as possible. So as you can see, just turn that oak into a sideways one, the spruce into sideways one these two oak here, this one spruce, this one oak, spruce, two oak, one spruce, and then this whole layer here we can turn sideways. Essentially that just makes it look neater. There's nothing you can do about the four blocks in the corner and all these ones here. If you want to put brown carpet on top, I don't recommend it. Um, it doesn't look nearly as good. Um, but yeah, it just cleans it up a bit. So, what we're going to do here, we're going to work from back to front. It makes no sense, but we're going to do it. So we got the first row. The second row goes one spruce plank, one oak log. Make sure at this point they are sideways because we're dealing with the top here. One oak plank, two spruce planks, uh, spruce log, should I say, and one oak log. Next row is one spruce log, four oak log one spruce log. Next row is one spruce plank, one spruce log, two oak planks, one spruce log, one spruce plank. Next row is the exact same, so one spruce plank, one spruce log, two oak planks, one spruce log, and one spruce plank. Second to last row is one spruce log, four oak logs, one spruce log, so exact same as this one here. And then the final row, one oak log, two spruce logs, one oak plank, one oak log, and one spruce log. And once you've done that, that is it. You have built the, tut uh, built the tutorial, you have built the statue, um, which I've been showing you how to build, I guess. Um, and as I said, my voice is dying right now. I need to go grab a drink. My throat is uh, killing. But I finished up this video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. I'll show you around one last time whilst I say my goodbyes until next time. So again, if you did enjoy, definitely consider leaving a like. Um, one like equals one prayer for my throat. Um, it, it's proper killing. Um, but anyways, yeah. I'll definitely try and rest it up for the next video, which should be out within the next few days. Again, I've been trying to upload on Saturdays and Wednesdays um, to keep videos coming out a regular basis. Again, there'll be one Five Nights of Phrase video a week and one non Five Nights of Phrase uh, video a week. So that'll be anything from the Minecraft Story Mode characters, Star Wars, um, Fallout 4, and also uh, the Call of Duty characters. I haven't forgot about them. Uh, but yeah, again, if you do enjoy, leave some likes, leave some support. 
um, and we'll do the other Minecraft story mode characters if that's what you want. I, again, I believe there's like 10 in total, um, six different versions of this guy, um, three female, three male, and then some other characters. So yeah, definitely show some support if that's what you want. And uh, yeah, hopefully you enjoyed. Until next time, I've been Tom. Thank you for watching and goodbye. Pull my heart out of my chest Train my mind so I forget Sink your teeth into my bones Dig me out then fill the hole Tear me apart Come and get it.